Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful uh, picture of Green Street Bridge in Ipswich with this wonderful fall light and beautiful sunlight passing through the bridge. All right, so I did a little sketch of the bridge here. The important thing is that piece of light coming on the water. It's just wonderful. Uh, did a quick wash of cobalt blue over the sky, over everything. I really painted the whole thing. And now I'm taking some raw sienna. You want to get some color on this stone. This is a beautiful uh, stone bridge. So I'm painting it first with some uh, raw sienna and just painting the whole bridge. You know, it's very black under there, so you don't have to worry about that. But get it all wet. And then what I'm going to do here is just drop some color on there. That's a little cobalt blue. And just randomly, you know, a little bit of Quincy enter on that, right on the bottom there, and a little bit here and there. While it's all wet, and this color will all just run randomly, it's, it's beautiful. So just let it go. It's just wonderful. Nothing like stone or rocks and, you know, beautiful, uh, beautiful color. So I'm taking a damp brush here and doing a little bit of lifting out here and there. And you can also do the reflection at the same time. So I'm just painting in with raw sienna the reflection of the bridge in the water. And I'm going to do the same thing, bring it right down. Uh, dropping color in there. It's a little darker than the bridge itself. The reflection of the bridge is, is a little bit darker, but this is cobalt blue. I'm just dropping in the same as I did above and get that whole thing in there. Now I'm going back and the left side of that bridge is very, very dark. It's a deep shadow. It's underneath the trees. So it's kind of a spackle of light there, but in that corner, it's very dark. So that's cobalt blue mixed with the raw sienna and the quinciana and, you know, just, so I'm just going across and you can see in the way I'm painting it, I'm just sort of getting it all wet where I'm going to just drop in more color, getting even darker on that left side. Very dark. It's, remember, it's going to dry lighter, so you want it to look darker than uh, you think it is, but allow for that dryness. All right, going back with some more dark. So this, this is just cobalt blue and uh, some, a little bit of quinciana mixing. So I'm just going to, I'm sort of indicating that the, the stones are there making little spaces in between, but not, not, you know, worrying about it too much. A little bit of quinciana there. Mix your colors up. Keep it all wet. You know, if it's wet, you can do anything with it, you know. Right now, I'm just trying to get some color on the bridge in that stone. All right, this is a, a tedious process, but if you, you know, you can take your time with it and it'll work out perfectly well. Uh, just indicating the stones in between. Uh, you know how the stones work in random patterns, right? So you get, you know, you, you have a the width of the stones are pretty much the same, but because they're on, you know, the, the uh, spaces between the bricks, the stones line up from alternate rows, right, as you go down. So you just want to get, do that, and we'll get that in there. I'm not going to go through the whole bridge with you, but I'll speed along and indicate Take your time, you know. So you can see I'm moving along and I'm just indicating a little space here and there between the stones. And just bringing it down. Drying and dry it in between the layers, you know, get a nice a nice buildup of, of paint, you know. 
let that let those first coats of raw sienna and quinceana come through. Okay, get this reflection is even darker. So just go along. You know, there's a whole line there that you can follow all the way across. But as you go across, you know, you can indicate that space and it alternates between the rows. You know, take your time and build it up. It, it's, it's, it'll, you'll be glad you did. So once you get to this point where, you know, the stones are all pretty much indicated, you're going to go back now and soften some of these edges and put some more texture in these stones. Different colors, you know, some cobalt blue on the cool side and little raw sienna, quinceana on the warm side cobalt blue on the cool side, you know, and once you get it in there, and allow for some cracks and crevices and broken stones and all that stuff really helps make it really uh, very realistic looking and a nice sense of, uh, of solid stone, you know, it's beautiful. Then you have the reflections, uh, you know, of the same, the same rocks, you know, the same, obviously the same reflecting it, but you don't have to be as careful because, you know, it's, it's a um, reflection, so it's, it's going to be a little bit different and it's, it's going to be softer. Going back, I'm making this reflection on, on in the water much darker, you know. This cobalt blue with a touch of raw sienna, quinceana, uh, especially on that left side. And then as I bring it out, you know, I'm adding a little bit of um, quinceana here and make it a little warmer. So you get that cool and warm mixing, which is really beautiful. Okay. Very dark and rich in between there where the water, you know, changes the color of the stone deeply. So I'm putting a little bit up here and there, dropping some blue in there. Okay, a little bit warmer on that side. And remember, you always have your towel to do a little lift off here and there. That even gives you more texture, which is beautiful. So and bring these reflections down. It's like a mirror reflection. There's some movement in the water, but not a lot, you know, so. Okay, just keep keep moving and keep building. Put it on, take it off, dry it, you know, until you're happy and you get what you're looking for. All right, I'm gonna go back now and put that dark in and I wanna just do a little pencil mark to indicate where I'm going. You know, nothing wrong with being sure. Okay, over here, it, it's very cool on this side. It's all, it's really reflecting more of the shadow, but it's, that's, not that important part of the painting. All right, so we wet that area first so that we can uh, get some cadmium orange and I'm mixing that with some some yellow. I'm using a ribbon yellow and a little bit of tiny touch of cad yellow. Very strong orange. This is all a reflection of those trees in the background. So but you want to leave that white, you know, you, don't, you want to make sure that light, that light is so important, okay? Putting some quinacridone sienna in there, which is a deeper, deeper reddish-orange color. 
you want to build it up you can see the gradation of color you know as it's coming towards the light what that that is actually reflecting the tops of the trees in the back and you know the sunlight coming through so but it, it's so important it's the whole painting you know it's the whole focus of this painting going back with some yellow and teasing that edge and always have that paper towel handy push it up now I'm just taking a little bit of water on that edge a tiny bit of yellow on my brush feeling cleaning up that edge okay Right. This is just cobalt blue, and because you're painting on that orange, it's going to turn into a nice and really cool gray. And I'm going to use that on the right side there. That's all. That's all shadow, and it's it's very cool under the bridge. But we'll define it with the dark when we get to the dark. So, you know, just all right. This is very black. This is. Ultramarine and Quinciana to get the black. Get the shape in there and then we'll charge it up with some orange or raw sienna, you know, a little bit of color in there. Really does a beautiful job of framing in that light, you know. And when you're using that black, you can adjust your, you know, adjust your uh, your bridge lines and your reflections, and you know, some adding some raw sienna, a little orange up in there. It's really reflecting that orange, so it's it's nice. It gives it, you know, you don't want that black black because it's just too cold, you know. Too. All right. I do the same thing on this side. This is, you know, this is there and it's the bridge, but we don't want to make it too important. You know, it's not as important that that, that uh, warm color on the left is the whole painting. So, all right, we have the trees in the background. This is cat orange with, with a bunch of water and mixing some yellow in there at the same time. And, you know, some of these trees will be more yellow than orange, but leave some sky holes always when you're painting trees. and. I'm just going to buzz right across the whole top there with the orange and go back and pushing in the pushing in the, the uh, orange cat orange so you want layers you know some trees are in the back some are a little closer so the closer trees will be darker so I'm just putting in some more color some real strong cadmium orange let it come down, scuff it up a little bit here and there, get a nice sense of trees. Here we go, I'm going even deeper on some of them, a beautiful color, you know, let that, let that, it's all wet there, so you, you, you're just pumping in the color on that wetness, and you'll, always, you'll have all soft edges, and it's beautiful, you know. Put in a few branches, you know, a little bit of quinacridone sienna on my brush here to indicate uh, some branches and the little trunks of the trees. And it's all, you know, little movement, little indications of, of that uh, tree setting. Beautiful thing. This is a nice painting, you know, wonderful. It's always great when you can use this kind of color. It's amazing. Okay. All right, there's a row of, uh, another row it looks like there's another row of trees or bushes or something against it. They're in front of the orange trees. So I'm going in with Quinciana, uh, go right across 
and what that does is it, it pulls it forward and it pushes those orange trees further back. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm going in and now I'm going in with some blue and I'm using the cobalt blue that had a touch of uh, gouache in there. It was a little touch of white gouache that I was using on the left hand stones there. So I'm using that and I'm just filling in this row of trees and bushes, whatever it is in the front there. Okay. Adding a little more of the cat orange, letting it mix with that blue and just getting it the way I want it to, you know, keep working it till you're happy. There's a strong uh, edge to the top of the bridge here, which is holding the fence. So I'm just going in with a dark ultramarine and quinciana, a little bit of that blue in there, and I'm going across with my fence, I'm just putting the fence in. Okay. All right, putting the, this some bunch, bunch of dark trees here on the left. So this is very dark. It's ultramarine blue and quinciana. Make that black. And then I added some cobalt blue to it because it's very cool. It's in the shade and you can see it's lighting up. You, you almost never want to use that black, right, you know, black, black. There's a lot of light bouncing here, you know, and some of it wants to be on the trees. So, so I'll do some of these trees for you, but there's so much here, you know. It's, it, it gives you it gives you a nice depth, you know. Take your time, take a break, do a little bit here, a little bit there, you know. You stay in the same spot all the time, it gets tiring and get a little tedious and it's easy to make mistakes. So there's another branch here, another tree in the, on the left side. All right, you take your time, use a nice pointed brush. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to continually uh, paint trees because it, it's all, it's in every landscape almost you know it, almost every landscape has some kind of tree uh, action you know something going on so you really want to get to know trees really well and paint them really well okay just keep going on so you, you almost can't do too much, you know, but you don't want to block out your total painting. But just keep going, especially with this. It's the winter, these are the winter trees that are still there with, without leaves. And, you know, just keep going and indicate it all. All right, I, I hope you like this. This was a, a really beautiful, colorful painting in Ipswich. And thank you for joining me. I appreciate it very much. And I will see you again very soon.